हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्लास एट टॉपिक चैप्टर नंबर 15 एरिया प्रैक्टिस सेट 15.3 सो बिफोर गोइंग टू द प्रैक्टिस सेट 15.3 वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फर्स्टली व्हाट इज मीन बाय द ट्रपेजियम एंड हाउ टू इवैल्यूएट इट्स एरिया सो वंस ए एनी क्वाड्रिलैटरल इफ वन पेयर ऑफ अपोजिट साइड इज पैरेलल इट इज कॉल्ड ए ट्रपेजियम सो ट्रपेजियम मे लुक लाइक अ वे we are having it is a trapezium pq rs now is in the quadrilateral pq rs once we are having one pair of opposite side that is segment pq which is parallel to the segment rs so that given quadrilateral is a trapezium now to evaluate the area of trapezium let's try to draw the perpendicular from vertex s on its opposite side pq supposed to be we are having sm be the perpendicular on pq and same thing let us try to draw the perpendicular from point r on its opposite side pq let us we call it as a rm now the trapezium is divided into the three parts first is the triangle second is the rectangle and third is again a triangle so that to evaluate now area of a quadrilateral pqrs means the trapezium that is equals to we are having area of triangle pms plus area of a quadrilateral that is we are having mnrs which is a rectangle here and plus we have area of a triangle that is nqr now we have area of a triangle is half times base into height so sm be the perpendicular drawn on the pm of the side of a triangle pms so sm be the height of the triangle and pm be the base so that we are having base into height means the pm into ms plus area of rectangle we have length into breadth so that we are getting length becomes we have the mn and uh, breadth becomes we are assuming ms plus area of triangle nqr equals to now we are having half times now rn be the perpendicular drawn on the side of the triangle that is qn so qn be the base under consideration and uh, the height becomes we are having rn now since the given quadrilateral that is mn rs is a rectangle so that pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel that means we are having mn is equals to the rs and other side we are having sm or the ms we are taking the ms so that the ms to be equals to we have the rm that means now from the given area of a quadrilateral pqrs we are replacing rn by its value as a ms so that and once we are taking simultaneously half common we are getting area of a quadrilateral that is pqrs to be equals to now we are having half times in bracket pm into we have the ms plus two times we are getting mn into ms because here half is taken outside so that's why the second term should multiply divide by 2 1 by 2 we have the common remainder becomes 2 times mn into ms and plus we have now the qn into rn is nothing but the ms now look at the bracket ms 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 be the common factor in all three terms so that after all taking ms common we might remain with the pm plus 2 times mn plus qn now 2 times mn we can split it is of the form mn plus mn i am writing mn plus mn and plus qn as it is whole into we have the ms now one mn value we can replace it by rs so that we are getting one mn we have to replace it by rs 
area of a quadrilateral now PQRS that is the trapezium that is equals to half times we have the PM plus MN plus we have the RS and plus QN now whole into MS remains as it is addition is always associative so that we can write now the area of quadrilateral PQRS is of the form half times now PM plus MN plus QN and plus I am writing now the RS whole into MS. Now look at the figure of the trapezium P, M, N and Q are the collinear points. So that I am writing since here we are having P, M, N and Q are the collinear points. So that value of PQ we can write PM plus MN plus QN. So now look at the bracket. First T terms addition. We have the PQ. So that the area of quadrilateral PQRS is equals to half times we are having PM plus MN plus QN is the PQ. And plus we are having the RS whole into the MS. That means once we consider the trapezium having the height becomes the H. MS be the height here. So we have to consider the height of the trapezium is H. So that we can write the in general formula for evaluating the area of any trapezium PQRS that is equals to half times PQ and RS be the parallel side so that we may have now sum means the addition that means the sum of parallel sides whole into we have ms be the height so into height so this is the general formula for evaluating area of trapezium and unit becomes now once we are evaluating the area so it may having the unit unit square or we may have the SQ stands for the square units like that way. Now look at the first question from practice set 15.3. In quadrilateral ABCD length of AB is 13 cm, length of DC is 9 cm, length of AD is 8 cm. Find the area of quadrilateral ABCD. Now look at after the quadrilateral ABCD in which we have given here CD is uh, let it be parallel to the AB. So that it is a trapezium in which we have given CD is the 9 cm, AB is the 13 cm. Next to it we are having length of AD becomes the 8 cm. So AD be the height of given trapezium while AB and CD are the parallel sides of the trapezium. So that we may have now the area of trapezium ABCD that is equals to half times sum of its a parallel sides that means the AB plus we have the CD whole into the height we have AD. Try to replace by their values AB we have a 13, CD we have a 9 whole into AD we have a 8. Now we well known 2 1s are 2 and 2 4s are we are getting 8, 13 plus 9 we have a 22 and 22 into 4 we have a 88. Once all dimensions are is in centimeter, so that area of given quadrilateral ABCD that is equals to we have 88 centimeter. We may evaluate the area of the given trapezium by joining of the given quadrilateral ABCD by joining the segment AC. Once we join the segment AC, so the given quadrilateral ABCD is divided into the two parts or the two figures both are the triangle. One is the right angle triangle and other is the scale and triangle might be. So that we can write now the area of quadrilateral ABCD that is equals to area of first triangle we have the ADC and plus we are having area of the other triangle is ABC. Now area of triangle is half times base into height. So for ADC, AD be the height, CD be the base under consideration. 
so that we are getting 9 into 8 plus half times we are having now let us draw the perpendicular from point C on its opposite side uh, let us call that point of intersection of the perpendicular and the AB becomes the point E so now CE is same as that of AD so height we are having the 8 while base we are having the AB as a 13 try to simplify it 2 4 za 8 9 4 za we have a 36 2 1 za 2 2 4 za 8 13 4 za we have a 52 52 plus 36 again we are getting the same value that is 88 centimeter square so this is the other way to find the area of given quadrilateral ABCD look at the second sub question from practice set 15.3 here we have given the decimal values of length of parallel side and the height of the trapezium. So length of two parallel sides of a trapezium are 8.5 cm and 11.5 cm respectively and its height is 4.2 cm find its area. So area of now no need to draw the figure and all we may have direct values. So area of trapezium we are having half times sum of its parallel side into height of the trapezium. So that area of trapezium we are getting half times. Parallel sides are length we have given 8.5 and 11.5. So that sum of them means the addition 8.5 plus 11.5 into height of the trapezium we have given 4.2. Now half times 8.5 plus 11.5 we are getting 20 into 4.2 now we able to know that 2 ones are 2 2 tens are 20 so 10 into 4.2 we are getting 42 so at last I am writing area of given trapezium is equals to we have a 42 units are in terms of the centimeter centimeter so that the unit we have for the area now the centimeter square or you may write it is of the form SQ stands for the square centimeter like that here. So hence we have 42 centimeter square or square centimeter. Look at the third question from practice set 15.3. Quadrilateral PQRS is an isoscale trapezium. Now what is mean by the isoscale trapezium? Here we have given PS is congruent to that of QR. That means pairs of non-parallel sides of a quad are that means the trapezium are congruent. Next to it we have given length of PQ is 7 cm. Segment PM is perpendicular on SR. Length of SM equals to 3 cm. Distance between two parallel sides is 4 cm. Find the area of quadrilateral PQRS. Now look after that once we are drawing the perpendicular from point Q on its opposite side let us we will call it as the QN be the perpendicular on NR and here now QN is congruent to that of PM because both are the distances between parallel lines so they are congruent so that we can say that the triangle PSM and the QNR are congruent by using hypotenuse side test keep in mind and once the given two triangles are congruent then as per the pair of remaining sides are said to be congruent we are having SM is congruent to NR once SM is 3 unit so that the NR value is 3 unit look at now the quadrilateral P, M, N, Q it is a rectangle so that pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel so once the value of PQ is 7 so that the MN is also 7 so that we are getting once the S, M, N and R are the collinear point so the value of SR is equals to we have a SM plus I am writing MN plus NR so let us try to add up 3 plus 7 plus 3 7 plus 3 10 10 plus 3 we have a 13 with the value of SR and now once we are having the SR value is 13 unit and whose parallel side we have the PQ that is 7 unit so 13 plus 7 is 20 and into the height and divided by 2 we are getting the area of given quadrilateral PQRS so that we are writing now our answer is of the form draw segment QM which is perpendicular on 
we can say is the SR segment SR that should implies now the PM is equals to we have a QN and both are to be equals to 4 units already we have given distance between parallel line is 4 unit and unit is also given that is centimeter so we can write the unit as a centimeter now here we can say is now in triangle PSM and triangle we have a QNR what data we have with us Firstly, the segment I am writing PS that is the hypotenuse of the triangle PSM which is congruent to that of segment QR that is QR is the hypotenuse of other triangle that is QNR. Why? Because this is given. Given trapezium is an isoscale trapezium so pairs of non-parallel sides are congruent. And next to it we are having segment PM that is congruent to that of segment QN. Both are the distances between parallel lines. Hence we can say that by using the hypotenuse side test given to triangles PSM and the triangle QNR are congruent. So once the triangles are congruent by hypotenuse side test we can say that now Pairs of remaining sides, pairs of remaining angles are congruent. So that should imply now segment SM which is congruent to that of segment NR. Once the segments are congruent, we are writing the reason behind it. Remaining sides, remaining sides of congruent triangle. Or we can say the congruent sides of the congruent triangles in short and once they are congruent means they are having the same length so length of the SM is equals to length of the NR both are to be equals to now 4 cm NR both are to be equals to we have given actually the 3 cm be the length of the SM so that we can say is now once here the quadrilateral which is that quadrilateral look at after we have P, Q, N, M. So that I am writing once the quadrilateral P, Q, N, M is a rectangle. So whose pair of opposite sides are parallel. That means that should imply is now we have P, Q equals to the M, N. And we can write now the next side is the P, M is equals to we have the Q, M. So once the PQ value we have given the 7 units. So the length of MN is equals to we have also the 7 cm. Now once the point P, M, N and R are collinear. So which uh, 4 points we have here. P uh, sorry for that S, M, N, R. I am writing S, M, N, R. So once the S, M, N, R are collinear we can write the overall value of the SR becomes sum of SM, MN and the NR that means the length of SM plus length of MN plus length of NR that is equals to the length of SR. So length of SR equals to now we have SM is 3 cm, MN is 7 cm and NR is 3 cm so that we are having length of SR equals to 13 centimeter. So look at the trapezium we have given that is PQRS in which we have PQ equals to 7 and uh, height we have given the 4 centimeter and now we are getting the SR value is 13 centimeter. So now it is easy to find the area of given trapezium PQRS that is equals to we have half times sum of length of its uh, parallel side into the height. Now we are having the parallel sides are the PQ and the SR and height becomes we are having here the, be the point M so that the PM. Let's try to replace by their value we are getting area of quadrilateral now PQRS is equals to 
half times we are having 7 plus 13 into height we have the 4 now 2 ones are 2 2 2 2 are we have a 4 7 plus 30 is 20 into 2 we are getting 40 dimensions are in terms of the centimeter so the unit becomes centimeter square so at the last I am writing the final answer area of given trapezium PQRS is equals to we are getting 40 centimeter so hence here we have our practice set 15.3 thank you